What's going on? I'll be what I'll be fitness gaming and you've seen the title of the video, you know why you're here. Ah! Domain Zoo. So we're still playing the list that we've been playing here, which is playing the three Renin Six and the Tefiri Time Raveler in the main deck with the one Dromoka's Command. Still haven't changed anything in the mana base other than adding a one uh, Misty Rainforest to complete the 22 land. So far the deck has been performing very, very well. Um, but of course, you know, as I show you this match, I'm probably going to get smashed. But overall, you know, I've been playing a lot of games with the deck and we, we, I've been doing really well with the deck. So let's go ahead and get into a game here. <clears throat> If you guys have any questions about my list, comment at the bottom. Any suggestions, comment at the bottom. Let me know. Let me lower my phone here. All right, here we go. All right, so we have turn to Domain, into Kavu, into Time Raveler. Um, this hand is fine. It's not the best. We normally want a nice little curve of one, two, and then into three, now that we play the Time Raveler, but it's not a bad hand. It also depends on what our opponent's playing. There are some matchups where the Teferi, uh, and here we go with the drawing of all the lands. So we're gonna go ahead and fetch out. Which one should we grab? This one. So normally, when we're fetching here, we wanna do it at the end of our opponent's turn to give them less information. But we're just going to get ahead and try to speed through this. What is this? Enters the battlefield. You may discard a card. If you do draw two cards, sacrifice your own creatures you control, gain haste. Okay. All right. So we're going to get a breeding pool here. Man, modern has really just... I can't believe I've only been gone for a year and like I feel like it's a whole new format with just cards that I'm not used to seeing. I remember knowing every single card in every deck. Okay, so now we have the Teferi. They're not playing counters. Um, Teferi would be good right now. Should we attack and then play Teferi? I don't think so. I think we want to play the Teferi first. Um... We need white and red for sure. So we'll play this, this. One thing when you're playing Domain Zoo is please be vigilant of your lands. The ones that you put into play. I've lost so many games. Should we bounce this? Enters the battlefield. You may discard a card if you do draw two cards. Sacrifice it. I mean, I guess they can still sack it. So let's just go ahead and do this. Yeah, I've lost so many games just by simply fetching out the wrong land, playing the wrong land, playing the wrong fetch land. Um, I mean, playing this deck, you know, continuing to play it. Oh, I just noticed what they have in the graveyard here. We can always just bounce that. Let's discard this. Um, this is going to be a problem. Cycle. They, 
could be looking for something. That's why they're cycling lands. All right, so they're going off to the Teferi. So they definitely see the, te the Teferi as a big threat. We definitely want to keep our Teferi alive. All right. Then we'll do that. Um, let's go monkey. What, off a of forest. In case they do Blood Moon. Is that dude? There he is. Okay, with that trade there. You know, right now I just want to keep the board clear. Um, making sure there's nothing they can really do to stop what we're doing. We have the Teferi, and we have the Kavu, and we have Leyline Binding in hand. So, we're pretty good right now, and whenever it's our turn, we don't have to worry about the opponent interacting with us. I really like Teferi and Ren in this deck. Like, I really do. It really, like, I feel like I'm playing the deck, and I have... Where before, like, you're playing and you're kind of worried that you can get blown out by certain things. When I'm playing Teferi and Ren, that stuff can still happen. Um, but I feel like I'm just more protected. If you guys know what I mean. Alright, so opponent's still at 7. Oops. We're going to go with another Kavu here. Then we got the Ragavan. We should be able to end the game next turn. Yep, there we go. All right, so graveyard shenanigans. <sighs> this seems good. Um, rest in peace might be good. Maybe we can replace rest in peace with Dromoka's command, replacing a. Ren and Six. Dromoka's command, actually, maybe. Do we take out the um, Ren and Six? I think we might. Ren and Six is good. It's a great card. I don't think, um, unless in certain situations where we need lands. But I think in this matchup, it doesn't do enough. So we're going to keep this. Uh, one thing when you're playing Domain Zoo always is when you have your lands, already kind of have an idea what lands you're going to fetch for. Like right now I know I'm going to go for Steam Vents because of this and a Temple Garden. So we're just going to go Steam Vents. Another combination you can go for depending on what you have in your hand. Like let's say you have Dromoka's Command or maybe you have Windswept Heath as your two... Um, fetch lands is breeding pool and sacred foundry. So you would grab sacred foundry, play Ragavan, and then get a breeding pool. So it's important to kind of know which lands work well, which with with ones, and what fetch lands grab what. And the reason I know this is because I learned the hard way. So learn from my mistakes. All right, so we have that in the graveyard. So we're gonna go ahead and just windmill slam here the rest in peace. We're not gonna be playing any games. We're not gonna try to get cute. Attack here. Ooh, they got a Ren. That would have been sweet if we would have played uh, their Ren off of that, if we would have had like another land. Yep, Ren is uh, really problematic when you have a Ragavan. Alright, so Ragavan is gonna die. 
It's okay, we're gonna kill their Ren at the end of turn here. Okay, another Ragavan. The reason I am dashing in Ragavan here instead of casting like a Kavu is we don't have a lot of land. And I really want to be able to double spell. Or at least be able to cast, you know, a spell and leave Leyline Binding up eventually. Once we're able to flood the board with like two creatures, like, it's going to be very hard for them to, to kill us. Unless they sided board in, you know, if they, if they anticipated that we were going to play something like Rest in Peace... They most likely sideboarded something in to get rid of it. If not, um, it's going to be very hard for them to win this game. Create a 2 2 green creature token. Well, whenever this creature attacks, create a treasure token. Yep. Okay, do we. Let's just. Well, on the cattle. Alright, so we can trade with this. Let's just actually start floating the board now, now that we can get two threats. You may discard up to two cards if you do draw that many cards, okay? Then, yeah, and then this is the one that turned into basically like a uh, Kiki. A token that's a copy of another non-legendary creature you control, except it has haste. Yeah. Opponent does have a stacked hand. And by stacked, I mean they got six cards. We don't know what they have. They could have six lands for all we know. I was wondering why was uh, the opponent attacking there. They could, you know, but then I'm like, I mean, if they have bolt, they can just kill the Nakato anyways. Uh, but now it makes sense because they get the treasure. Yep, and they have bolt anyways. Okay, so we can connect here with the Ragavan. Or we can play another big threat. I think... Hmm. Let's try to get in with the Ragavan. Because if we can hit a land off the Kavu, especially a fetch land, we can grab a Overgrown Tomb and cast our Scion. We're going to get rid of the Brawler here. Definitely buying a lot of time here. Yep. Okay, they're down to seven. Surprise! I mean, we've been navigating this game very, very well, considering we've only been playing off of two lands. Which is, you know, it, it is zoo, but at the, but you know, some you know somebody would argue, well, you know, it's, it's zoo, two lands is fine, and it is for the most part, but. It's very tough when you're only able to play one spell at a turn. You may put a creature card. Oh, okay. Yep. And discard this. Discard a card, we'll discard, I, we have to discard this. Alright, so they can play things off the... Yeah. <sighs> okay, this, not too good. To be fair, 
we were stuck on two lasers, so you know our clock was just not fast enough. Rest in peace was good, but we needed to back it up with a faster clock. I definitely want to play these stubborn denials. They have a lot of bolts, even though those have seemed good. So let's just try this config configuration here. I'm not sure if I could have done anything different that game. I think things were fine. We just needed to a faster clock. Okay. Um, this seems good. So, question decisions: Do we keep the three lander and then draw six lands, or do we discard a land and not not draw a land for the rest of the game? We're gonna keep. All right, so we can grab. Okay, so we're gonna put back. I mean, either way is fine. But what do we want to play? Bolt. Does it even matter? We just need to keep. We have to keep the fetch land and either sacred or garden. Let's just put away the garden. Because we can do um, breeding pool and, and sacred foundry here. We have more red. We have more red spells, so I, th I think this is the better keep. Although we could have grabbed steam vents anyways. Um. Trying to think. I'm trying to think if they played Blood Moon. I don't think so, right? Because they have a three. Yeah, I don't think so. Alright, so this is going to give us the. What we need. The question. I think we're going to go Kavu. And then not rest in peace. We'll go rest in. Oh, what am I doing here? Alright. So yeah, we're going to go Kavu, put a clock on him. Um, it's real early in the game. A second turn on the play, 5-5, five, five, is pretty hard to deal with. They can also remove creatures from the graveyard. So there's no rush to the windmill slam the rest in peace right now. Okay. That's good. Um, we can bolt whatever they hit us with. Let's... What do we discard here? Because we have to discard something, I feel. I think we need the Brawler. Ugh, I really want the Stubborn Denial. Okay, yeah, we we need a land. I'm worried that we can't speed the process up. So we're going to do this. Okay, here we go. And then now we have Stubborn Denial up. Next turn we can get in for 10, and we have Bolt. If they fetch here, we can win the game. Discard a card, draw two cards, okay. Okay, so we can Stubborn Denial whatever spell they, they choose to cast, to try to cast this. And then hopefully they have a fetch land here or something, because then we can just win the next game. I mean the next turn. And, and, you know, that's one of the things about Domain Zoo, like, we can get on the board so fast and hit so hard so fast. I mean, this is turn three and we could we already have lethal, that these combo decks, they have to go off. And this is why I love Stubborn Denial in this deck, because getting that extra turn is all you need most of the time. Now, am I saying we're going to win this game? I think we have a high probability, but anything can happen that it is modern. Another card um, that I like to play around with over Rest in Peace is Fairy Macabre. Fairy Macabre allows us to interact at instant speed, so we don't have to tap out for like for something like Rest in Peace, which I really like. So we're not going to counter the um, 
the Ren because the Ren doesn't do anything to win the game. So we're going to get rid of this. Actually, you know what? Let's just pull his graveyard. I mean, we could discard something and try to hit a red land. But let's just exile this just to have to only worry about one spell. And then here we can cast Tribal Flames. They're probably going to have that 1-1 one, one, uh, token creature. Oh, no. Uh, okay. They're probably Bolt here. So here we're going to stubborn this and just win the game. And then we'll just go on overkill mode. Boom. There we go. Got there. All right. Well, there we have it. That was a, that was a good game. All right, so you can see there the power of uh, Teferi, Time Raveler in that in one of those games there. Uh, we pretty much were able, the opponent was able to concede. There was nothing that they could really do. Um, again, you know, strategy with Domain Zoo is you want to get in your big creatures in early, protect them, uh, protect yourself from dying from any combo decks, and just ride them to victory. You can usually close the games out extremely fast, especially when you have things like Tribal Flames and Lightning Bolt. Uh, one of the games that I wanted to highlight was when we played Rest in Peace, although Rest in Peace was, it got played in a great position, we just didn't have the, the speed to end the game, so we ended up losing that game, but, you know, it happens, but Rest in Peace is a card that, you know, I know every list plays it, but I would, I think I'm going to start playtesting a little bit more with Fairy Macabs, of probably like two or three of them. They can become a creature if you need them also, and you can cast them. I mean, it's hard to cast in this deck because it is two black mana. Um, it also hinders your Giganta. I just have to figure out whether or not the decks that you bring in Fairy Macabre, where you can no longer use Giganta, are worth it, right? Like, do we care to have Giganta as a six, I mean, as an eighth card in hand against the decks where Fairy Macabre can win the game? Or, you know, hinder our opponents. Like, imagine they go for something to pull that, that Arkham out of the graveyard. And in response, you Fairy Macabre, right? Like, you basically, they basically time walk themselves and you get two, you get a spell out of it at instant speed. And you don't have to use any of your resources other than a card. I mean, it, that's pretty devastating. But, yeah, there's still, you know, I got to get more familiar with the format and see what works best and why a lot of these things are still here and if they should stay here anyways my friends there you have it hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys learned something i hope it was informative if there was any plays that i could have done better any tips or tricks that you have for me comment at the bottom if you have any questions comment at the bottom let me know don't forget to subscribe share and like my videos my friend and thank you so much for watching my stuff and again peace out